right, guys, we just got to uh, our location for detailing today. Beautiful house on the water in Madeira Beach. Got three skis we're gonna clean up, polish, and coat. Got a 2019 Yamaha GP 1800R. There's a testament to quality. Every Yamaha I have seen recently has these bubbles all over it. <laughs> their engines are good, but their hulls have flaws. Uh, just like the Sea-Doo. I mean, they, no, no manufacturer is perfect. Anyway, uh, you guys know I'm uh, pretty heavy into Sea-Doo's and uh, just uh, personal watercraft in general. Anyway, so this is a... Um, what looks to be a 2019 RXPX 300 might be, yeah, I guess this is a 2019, I'm not sure. So, it's going to be polished and coated. And obviously we're on floating docks today. Um, got a 2014 Spark. A little bit faded we're going to clean it up and it's going to get a solid coat of my uh the 2020 updated version of the plastic and rubber hydrate it's in here somewhere yeah this stuff here uh this now has the ceramic acrylics blend uh it was all acrylic before but now it is the ceramic acrylics blend for 2020 so it's stronger than it was better uv protection but that's what kind of shape the sparks in now and we're going to get it clean and hydrated and it should look awesome too all right so see what we're working on i will bring you back shortly with an update on progress so here we go it's my wife tony right there she's applying the uh Brand new 2020 Marine Series Plastic and Rubber Hydrate. You want to show that bottle, babe? It's pretty awesome. Uh, it, it was designed, actually it was designed for the sea -Doo Spark that we're working on, believe it or not. Uh, it was designed to hydrate these things because they're all composite, all plastic. And you can see it's got sun fade and that kind of thing. In order to do a sea -Doo Spark properly... The first order of business is to use my Marine Series heavy duty all-in-one vessel cleaner, uh, which I have over on the dock over there. Uh, we cleaned it with that and basically you spray it on, wipe it in. You want to remove all the dirt and grime from the plastic prior to applying this stuff. And uh, what you want to do, and she's just following the, the hull line. We're not doing the bottoms, but we will do everything that you can see from the water, the water lining up basically. So we've got a solid coat on pretty much all of this spark and uh, she's going over it just one more time and we're gonna let that sit while we continue to work on these two. I'm almost done with that GP1800R uh, and then I gotta start on this uh, Sea-Doo RXPX300. But as far as the spark goes, this is the, listen, we, I manufactured that stuff. We engineered it specifically to work awesome in the sun, in the salt or freshwater environment with all the friction uh, caused by the water and erosion over time. This stuff is going to stay on there. In fact, when it gets wet after it's done, it'll bead water like you just waxed it, like a car does when you uh, first apply a good coat of protection to it. Um, make sure you get all in these nooks and crannies in here. Um, so anyway, you put a you put a relatively heavy coat on first. You let that sit for about 10 minutes after you're done with the whole ski. Then you'll go around and you'll put another uh, lighter coat on, and you want to keep working it until you see hot. See when it sits on there, and you can see all those high spots. We're going to wipe those down, knock them down and make it even. But those high spots means that the product, which has a penetrant in it to soak into the plastic uh, all the way to the back of it, and then you build it out. And so 
when it's not penetrating anymore and this means that the plastic is pro properly hydrated when you see all these high spots so that isn't going to need more coats um, but you want to let that soak in for a little bit uh, 10 15 minutes let it sit in the sun then you'll go back over it and just give it give it a quick wipe with a towel and you'll see that when you wipe it it goes back to very nice and flat gives you back that natural texture of the plastic without the uh, high spots of the the product so it evens itself out uh, when you wipe it but the point of this is to soak into the plastic for 2020 this product is new because we added our ceramic acrylics technology it was only acrylic before so now it has our pro hybrid technology like our coatings do and this would be considered a coating for your plastic um, it does work very well on trim on regular vehicles and that kind of thing too uh, but this particular product was designed for the marine environment to be around all the friction and erosion caused by constant contact with water. So check it out, detailjuice.com. That is by far the best way to care for your spark. No other products are needed besides the Marine Series heavy duty all-in-one vessel cleaner to clean the plastic and then you'll use the plastic and rubber hydrate to uh, coat it and you are good to go. So once we're finished with this, I'll give you a walk around of the Sea Dew Spark. But this is a 2014 guys. Uh, before she started, it was very, very hazy. You can imagine these things fade out really, really, really bad and very fast. Uh, and that's just the sun taking out all the moisture from the plastic. So we have to rehydrate it. And uh, there is a, a, a darker blue color, which does definitely tint it a little bit. Um, but that's where we're at, guys. I'm going to keep working on the other skis, and we'll get back to the Sea Dew Spark because I want to, I want you guys to see how fantastic this thing looks when it's all done. All right, I just finished up with this uh, Yamaha Wave Runner SVHO GP 1800R. Look how amazing this thing looks. So. I cleaned it with a really diluted version of Infinite Use Detail Juice 1 with just a waterless wash. And then right after that, I polished the whole thing with Universal All-in-One. After that, I wiped everything down with Universal Clean and Prep. Not that you always have to after Universal All-in-One, but I like to on watercraft uh, and boats because you want the gel coat to take on all of uh, the ceramic acrylics goodness so after the wipe down I applied the ceramic acrylics v3 the 2020 newest version the uh, ceramic acrylics v3 pro hybrid coating the pro version which is all I use personally to all of the gel coat and then I followed the water line so I went down to the water line just below the stickers there underneath the sponson up above it and all around it um, I also did inside the the jam of this uh, hood here patch and then all around where the uh, engine compartment is I also coated both mirrors and the gauge cluster and then we cleaned with the heavy duty all-in-one vessel cleaner we cleaned all the vinyl with that and then we applied the weather resistant marine series weather resistant vinyl protectant to the seats the front and rear part of the seats so those are all done man that thing looks fantastic uh, Tony also handled this seat that works very much like the plastic and rubber hydrate uh, you want to apply it let it soak in and then knock off the excess after a few minutes so 
while we're waiting on the plastic and rubber hydrate this guy here to dry on the spark I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing polished it's already been cleaned it's already prepped ready to go um, and I just need to polish it and then we'll apply the coating to that and then we'll finish working on the spark and call it a day so now it's time to start on this sea dew rxpx 300 that's a 2019 all right i'm gonna shoot the rest of this spark video so this thing was cleaned with my marine series heavy duty all-in-one vessel cleaner that will remove all the dirt and anything out of the plastic It'll also leave a primer down to allow the rubber and plastic hydrate from my Marine Series to penetrate. Now the 2020 and moving forward, plastic and rubber hydrate has my ceramic acrylics technology. So it's not only acrylic anymore, it is far better than ever before. Um, you'll notice this spark looks deep and dark and rich like it's supposed to it's nice and hydrated i knocked down we knocked down a lot of the bulk of the um the actual plastic and rubber hydrate coating um but because it sits here in the sun you don't want to take too much off you just want to remove enough to where it doesn't look patchy and so that's kind of where we're at now is it looks great <clears throat> so we applied my marine series weather resistant vinyl protectant to the seat and then like i said the heavy duty all-in-one vessel cleaner to clean everything including the seat uh, that seat because it's white we could have used my mold remover from the marine series but we didn't need to it, it looks amazing and so does the uh, handlebars so the combo of the heavy duty all-in-one vessel cleaner and the marine series plastic and rubber hydrate on this thing made it look amazing it was really faded and gross whenever it was before we started detailing it and now it looks awesome so you can find that plastic and rubber hydrate as well as the heavy duty all-in-one vessel cleaner and the marine series uh, weather resistant vinyl protectant on detailjuice.com all right guys i've given you the uh overview of the gp 1800r we just finished up this 2019 rxpx c 300 uh i polished it with universal all-in-one so i washed we washed both of these two skis with a diluted really diluted version of infinite use detail juice one I wiped everything down with Universal Clean and Prep to remove any and all wax or whatever was on there prior to us detailing it. Then I polished both of them with Universal All-in-One. I uh, gave it some shine and that kind of thing, removed some light scratches. After the polishing was done, I applied the 2020 Ceram Acrylics Pro Hybrid Coating Version 3, the newest technology that we have which is awesome uh, for 2020 uh, we're using a new acrylic which is phenomenal uh, in the blend and uh, it's it's just awesome it it's very resistant to scratches and bird bombs and you know industrial fallout and all the things that you want it to be resistant to but also really resistant to salt uh, so if you're on a northern state and you're putting it on a vehicle you're going to be protected from the salt on the roads um, and if you're in the salt water environment like we are right now uh, it's going to be protected from the friction and erosion uh, for up to three years so depending on how he maintains it if he lets it sit there by itself it should last three years uh, if he uses the booster product uh, which is either infinite use detail juice one diluted in the spray coating uh, dilution or the Ceram Acrylics V3 Max Protect lineup, which is uh, basically very similar to the One system, same technology we use. It's just uh, a little bit different. Uh, the V3 Hybrid Boost in that Max Protect line is uh, basically the the base formula for the Infinite Use Detail Juice One. So there's those awesome skis, all cleaned and protected. 
We also did the Sea-Doo Spark. You can see uh, we used the Marine Series heavy duty all-in-one vessel cleaner to clean and prime. And then after that, we used the Marine Series plastic and rubber hydrate for 2020. It is now ceramic acrylics instead of just the acrylic. Um, it has the, ceram the V3 ceramic acrylics technology, which is awesome, very durable. Uh, and so if you want a ceramic coat, ceramic and acrylic coat your Sea-Doo Spark, the Marine Series Plastic and Rubber Hydrate from DetailJuice.com is the only way to go about that. It looks awesome. So thanks so much for watching, guys. If you got questions for me, if you want to have a detail done, if you're interested in my products, if you need me to help you with some kind of detailing endeavor, 813-846-4406. It does not get better than working out in this beautiful environment. I love the water. As you guys probably know, I'm an avid boater jet skier all that stuff but there's the overview of what we did today pretty proud of our work all three are coated and protected for the next three years thanks so much for watching guys if you need me let me know have a great day